Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Marco on RC Nerd 74. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my solution to make my Choiceway Rocket 26 brushless unsinkable, the hatch and also the hull. And I also gonna show you some footage of my last runs, some fun runs and also my first GPS runs on 3S and 4S. On these first test runs, I reached uh, 61 kilometers per hour on 3S and 76 kilometers per hour on 4S. So I think for a first try, that's pretty okay. But more modifications will come up and I hope I still able to make the boat faster. So first, let's have a look at the hatch. If you have the stock hatch on your choice by rocket 26 it has a double bottom on the inside so the hatch is already unsinkable if you get it out of the box but i wanted to reduce the weight of the hatch so i cut out a big part of the bottom side of the hatch and the downside of this modification was that the hatch was sinkable if you lose it during a run and the hatch falls into the water, it can sink down to the bottom of the lake and your hatch will be gone. So I had to find a solution to make it unsinkable again. And what I did is that I took some 6mm Depron, cut them into the right shapes to make it possible to push the different parts all around into the hatch to get enough foam in the hatch to make the hatch unsinkable again. It was a try and error how much foam it needs and the amount of foam you can see now here that works pretty good to keep the hatch unsinkable. I also tried it in my kitchen and it worked pretty well so I'm sure now that I won't lose my hatch if I have a crash which takes off the hatch from the hull. On the hull itself it's a little trickier to make the boat unsinkable. My first try was to close the whole front section of the hull and keep the air inside the front section to make the boat unsinkable but it wasn't that easy to make a part which fits perfectly inside all the shape of the hull. And if you crack your hull in case of a, of a crash and you get water inside at the front of the hull, it can sink anyway. So I didn't uh, went on with the solution with the wall. The second idea to make the hull unsinkable was to take a balloon, blow it up and put it in front of the hull. That's not easy at all because you have to put the balloon into the hull before you blow it up. That was a bit tricky but it worked. And the reason why I did the try with the balloon, just because it's super lightweight, it weighs almost nothing and I wanted to avoid any additional weight into my hull, into my Choiceway rocket to get the best possible performance out of the boat. I know that there are a few downsides on the balloon. One is that it loses its air after a few hours or after a few days and you have to refill the balloon or you even have to replace the balloon and put a new one inside your hull. But for me as I already mentioned, it was just very important to not add any unnecessary weight into the boat. Another downside with the balloon is that if you blow it up inside your hull, you get some tension from the inside on the front section of the hull. Then during the test runs, during the GPS runs, Something happened, I'm not sure if the balloon affected that problem, but as you can see, I hope you can see it in the camera, the hull cracked um, at two spots. After some 
uh, high speed flip overs at over 70 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure if the tension on the hull was the reason that the hull cracked at these points. These are anyway the weakest points of the hull of the Choiceway Rocket 26. So what I'm gonna do, I will reinforce this area on both sides with some fiberglass and epoxy just to avoid any more cracks at the weakest spots of the hull. And I'm also going to change the solution with the balloon. I will try to put two or three balloons inside. Don't blow them up too much, just that I can put them already blown up into the front of the hull and there will be way less tension on the hull. So I think it wouldn't affect the strength of the hull anymore. So this is it about the latest mods on my Choiceway Rocket 26. In the next few videos about the Choiceway Rocket, I will show you the repair of the hull and for sure more test runs. And I'm pretty sure that I can make this boat even faster than on these first GPS runs I did. So let's jump right into the test run footage. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good time. See you in the next one. Bye bye.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>